So there's five things that you must do in 2024 to be successful as a real estate agent. We're going to go over those five today. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single week to help you in growing your business. And we're certainly going to do that today because we're going to go over the five items that can make a big, big difference for you. There might be a couple of them that you can add to your business, but if you add all five, you're going to see a significant difference in production and in monthly income. That number one issue for so many agents, they have to fix their offer. So number one of five is fix the offer that you put out to the general public. If you are a commodity realtor, you're gonna be replaced by someone that'll do it for cheaper. So if the reason to use you is things like, I care about your business, I'll negotiate for you, uh, I'm a really strong negotiator, I'll, I'll represent your best interest, it means you're doing nothing for them, right? Like any realtor can do that. Everybody has the same code of ethics. Everybody can do those sorts of things. They can do the research. They can make sure they don't mess up or do anything that would get them in a lawsuit. Absolutely any realtor can do that. So I got to ask you, what is your offer? Why should they use you in lieu of all other options? The fact is, if you don't have a good offer, you're not going to attract business in the first place. If you're like, yeah, I'm in real estate. Do you have somebody to help you? It's not going to work. That's why your advertising doesn't work. That's why you think ads are a scam. That's why you think anytime you spend money, it's probably not going to work. It's because the offer sucks. That's the problem. Fix the offer with something that they're actually going to be interested in. You know, as an inner circle coaching member, you've got all the things we, we have access to unlisted and pre-market homes. Just saying that is a better offer to attract the type of business that you're looking for. If you fix that offer on the front end, the reason they should use you in lieu of all other options, you'll see a lot more people are coming into you. Your ads start to work. Your conversion starts to work. If you're buying leads right now or you're getting leads from other sources or whatever the deal is that way, why aren't you converting them? Do you really think it's an issue with the leads? Do you really believe that? If you go back and you look at six months ago, how many of those prospects actually bought or sold a home without you? The problem was the offer. If you had a great, if you call buyer leads and you say, uh, yeah, I can show you anything on the MLS, but hell, you can find that on your own. What if I can get you access to unlisted and pre-market homes, including foreclosure, pre-foreclosure deals, divorce situations, estates? Is that the type of thing you'd be interested in? I bet you don't get ghosted with that offer. <laughs> The problem was they didn't want what you offered. You got ghosted because the offer sucked. So you have to fix that part of it first. Get that right. Your meetings start to work and you're not, you're not going to be a commodity real estate agent. So that's number one. Number two of five, the top five things you need to do to thrive in 2024. Number two, improve your online presence. One thing I highly recommend every agent does is each month you have to Google yourself. Go to Google right now, type in your own name. What comes up? It probably doesn't look very good. It might be like your company's free website that they give you, right? And then it goes to like Zillow, Realtor.com. They've, they've uploaded all of the real estate agent names and they're swiping all of your traffic to sell it to other agents. If they're finding other websites, if it's going to Zillow or Trulia or Realtor.com or whatever the case is, your Google search sucks and you look like every other agent that's out there. Did you know you can fix your Google search? You can uh, create press releases every single month. You can start posting things on social that'll pop up. Videos pop up right after the first two searches. So if you've got a YouTube channel, some of the videos that you put on, don't worry, you don't have to be on camera, but you've got to have some videos that pop up with the right search criteria. So when someone is interested in your ads and they Google you first to check you out, Something positive comes up, something that actually leads to you and doesn't lead to other agents. If you go to prlog.org, prlog, like press release, prlog.org, if you go there, you can do press releases that will be syndicated to 200 web, it's like 20 bucks. And you can get syndicated to all of these different websites, so when somebody Googles you, there's relevant info that shows you were interviewed. A very good uh, thing for you to do today is go to PR log and just look at some of the press releases. You'll see it from other companies, right? A, a steel mill just hired 100 new people. They, they do a press release about it. You can do press releases about what you're doing in real estate so that when people Google you, you look like the industry pro. You have to fix your Google search. 
The fact is right now, the other online companies are stealing your traffic because you don't have anything relevant that's coming up for yourself. So that's a big, big one that I want you to think about. Number three, this is going to be controversial for you. You have to increase your expenses. You do not have a problem with expenses. You have a problem with income. Let me be clear about this. You will not fix your real estate business if you don't increase your expenses. You have to get this part of your mindset right. Now, it might be expenses for advertising, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, direct mail, postcard campaigns, utilizing every door direct mail with the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, it might be coaching. It might be training courses that you need to learn what you should be advertising. Don't be advertising just to advertise because if the offer sucks, back to number one, if the offer sucks, you're not going to get any response. doesn't matter if you spend $500 or you spend $5,000, you end up with nothing because you didn't fix number one before we got to number three. But you have to increase your expenses. Get coached up on what to do and say. Know what scripts and dialogues are actually working right now. Have a real system that you can implement, but then most importantly, don't have a really good offer. Don't fix number one and not tell the world about it. If you fix number one, you have to tell the world, and that comes by increasing your expenses. I will promise you, the more successful a real estate agent is, the higher their expenses are. I will promise you that's whoever's the top agent in the country spends more money on advertising than anybody. That's the way that it works. And the brokest realtor in the nation spends zero dollars. You have to look at the fact that increasing your expenses is how you fix your business, either working on you or working on your marketing. Number four, you have to fix your long game. Scrap the short game. This is not about generating leads and then call them a few times and email them a couple times and they never replied, so let me throw those out. I need some more leads. And then you do that for a few months and then you say, all those leads suck. I'm going to cancel that service. I'm going to switch over to this service and see if these leads are any better. Nope, your offer sucks. That's what your problem is. Your offer is no good and those leads don't want what you offer. And more importantly, you think that they're going to fill out a form and they're going to meet with you this week. No, nobody does it that way. The top producers in the country don't do it that way. That's not how money is made. There's a very small cream of the crop that 3% of the leads you get are willing to meet you in the first couple of weeks. The vast majority of them are going to be a long game. So when I do consulting with any of my inner circle coaching members, sometimes we'll do a blueprint day where I'll meet with them face to face. And the first thing I do is I say, okay, show me the leads that you got 90 days ago and show me the contacts they've had over the last two weeks from you. Let me give you that again. Show me the leads that you got 90 days ago. I don't care what you're doing with the leads you got today. I don't care because you're not going to convert them anyway. Show me the leads you got 90 days ago and show me the contacts that they've had in the last two weeks. Zero. Zero. That's the reason that you're not converting. You got to remember, buying and selling a home is a process, not an event. They don't just wake up in the morning and say, okay, we're going to buy a house today and fill out a form. Thank gosh, this realtor called me today. Let's go meet him right now. We want to meet him right now. He's closing for the appointment. Let's go meet him. And then they buy a home tomorrow. Wouldn't that be outstanding? No, this is a long game. Scrap the short game and start to build out your follow-up campaigns. You've got to understand how to put these people in your audience. Number one goal for you throughout 2024, you have to build a big audience. If you look at old school approach, years ago there was the, uh, the old realtor, the elderly realtor in your office, and she sells everything or he sells everything. He's just Business just comes to him. You know, he's been, he's been doing this for 35 years and he just has such a big client base that it's all based on referral and that's where all his business comes. That's his audience. You got to change to today's terms. He just had an audience of people that worked with him before. Now you can do that online. I have more people subscribed to this YouTube channel than he ever thought about selling before. Thousands and tens of thousands more between YouTube and Facebook and our email campaign. We have an audience that we can talk to. Your job is to provide helpful, relevant information regarding real estate in your local marketplace 
and get a bigger audience to watch that info. You know one of the ways to do that? Those leads that you got 90 days ago. They should be watching your stuff on a continuous basis. You should always be building your audience. The more that you're doing that and you work that long game, the more you're going to be able to convert them. So one of the big, big keys for you is to build that audience and get it as big as you can. Every week, every Friday, you should check, are more people watching me? Do more people know who I am as compared to last Friday? This Friday, how does it look? Next Friday, how does that look? That's how you grow by growing your audience. So that's number four. Let me give you those again. Number one is to fix your offer. You have to fix your offer to begin with or else everything else is a complete waste. Number two, improve your online presence. Number three, increase your expenses. Number four, you have to fix your long game. Extend this out a lot more. Like leads take a long time to cultivate. It's not two weeks. So stretch that out. And then number five, another really big one for you here, work with a proven marketing agenda. You have to look at, if I ask you today, show me what your marketing agenda looks like for this week. Does it look solid? I can look at your marketing agenda and have a pretty good guess of how much money you're going to make this week. By the way, if it's zero, it's zero. I can look and see, what are you doing from a marketing perspective? See, here's, here's a controversial topic for you. This business is very predictable. Let me give you that again. This business is very predictable. As a matter of fact, if you're not spending money on marketing, if you think you're trying to uh, lower your expenses, if you keep saying, I can't afford that, uh, I can predict what your income's going to be next to nothing. Occasionally, you have a friend or a family member that wants to buy or sell, and that's all you do. And if you think time fixes your business, if you think next month is going to be better than this month, if you think, oh, well, I just don't have the money right now, maybe when I have the money. No, you do this to get the money. Time is not going to bring you money. You're going to get further in debt next month, further in debt next month, and then, oh, look, one of my past clients wants to buy. Thank goodness I've got a closing. Well, you're further in debt than you were before you started this whole thing. You need to invest money in marketing, and you have to know how to work that proven marketing agenda. Let me give you those five again. Fix your offer. Fix your Google search. Increase your expenses. Fix your long game. Number five, big one for you. You have to work a proven marketing agenda. Those are the five things you have to do if you want to succeed in 2024. There's no question. Lots of agents are doing very, very well. But there's also no question we're having a bigger walkout than we've ever had in history because agents are lost and confused. They don't know how to market themselves the right way. They don't know how to differentiate themselves from the other agents. They're at the point now they don't even know how to negotiate commissions because of this new stupid lawsuit that everybody's dealing with. And now every seller you're meeting says, oh yeah, I'm so happy I don't have to pay the buyer's agent anymore. And that's where you're starting your conversation. By the way, if you're not trained on how to do that, you're screwed because you just lost a $20,000 commission because you tried to fight them. And at the kitchen table, on their phone, they Googled this lawsuit. See, I don't have to pay commissions. But look, right here, it says so. You didn't handle that correctly. You better get coached up. You better fix number three. You need to spend a lot more money on expenses to get coached up on how to do this. The uh, first week of January, we actually fixed that the first week of January and uh, uh, showed agents exactly what they need to do to grow their real estate business by fixing those commissions. So I think you'll find that if you get this part right, you'll do well. But look, it's a very predictable business. I can predict what you're going to make. Hopefully that's helpful for you, but I got bad news for you. If you're not following this channel, you might never see me again. You have to follow the channel here. Subscribe right now. Give me a thumbs up, a like if you uh, like this video, but make sure you're following the page and you ring the bell. Turn on notifications. We do this every week for you. And as an Inner Circle member, you know you're getting tons of coaching to help you in growing your real estate business. Fix these five things. Let's get you making a lot more money. I'm Greg Luther. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye for now.